guys. Today we're going to look at uh, the guitar solo to a Lipstick on Your Collar by Connie Francis. Um, great rock and roll guitar solo. I get the feeling this was probably worked out rather than improvised because it very closely follows the chord cool changes in this song. So uh, yeah, really nice, neat little solo. Um, the chords that are underneath it, it's got two bars of G major. Then it goes to two bars of C. And it does that again, G, two bars of G, two bars of C. Back to G. And then one bar of a B major or B7. E minor for a bar. Back to B or B7 again. And then one bar of C, one bar of G, one bar of D, and one bar of G. And so when I'm going through each phrase, I'll tell you what chord that they're being played over because they, a lot of the runs and the licks are kind of closely related to the chords. So it helps you make more sense of what's going on. Okay, uh, the first phrase is actually a pickup. It's just kind of, just starts just before the chord sequence, just runs off the end of the chorus. And you get this. And this is over a G. So what we've got there is I'm playing 5th fret on the D string, 4th on the G, 3rd on the B string. And you get a little um, G major arpeggio. And then um, we're playing 5th fret on the B and bending up a half step. And then we're going to pick it again while it's still bent and let it down very quickly. So you get this kind of effect. Like that. Okay. Right. First bar, first complete bar of the solo. Again, very, pretty much the notes out of a G major chord. Playing the third fret on the B. Two on the fifth fret of the D. And then we're going to get a... So what we're doing there is I'm sliding into uh, the fourth fret on the G. Then playing third fret on the B. And you do that twice. So slightly that bar. Um, so do that again. Okay. Uh, the second bar is going to be... It would do that same thing again, actually, with the... So it's on the fifth fret of the B, bend up half step, re-pick it, and let it down very quickly. Then we're going to get a little uh, double stop here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a bar across two strings on the third fret on uh, the E and B strings. Uh, but I'm so the notes you can actually hear though are going to be third fret on the on the E, and you're going to hold the fifth fret on the B. So you get that. Then I just play 3rd fret on the B, 4th on the G, 5th on the D string. So you get this little run down, starting with the double stop. So the whole bar. Like that. Okay, uh, then the next bar is going to be over a C chord. And the run is... Um, so we're starting on the C note, which is on the 5th fret of the G string. Play that twice. And then we're going to do a slide into the 5th fret of the B. And then play the 3rd fret on the E. And you're going to do that twice. So you get this. Like that. And again, these notes are straight out of a C major chord. Like I say, very closely related to what's going on underneath. Right. The second bar of C, you're going to get this. So what's happening there is you're, um, you're playing the fifth fret and you're bending it up a half step. So you, And you keep the bend held. And so you're going to kind of pick um, down, down, up, down, down. 
like that. You're going to pick it one more time and let the bend back down again. So you get. And then to finish off that bar, third fret on the E, fifth fret on the B. Okay, next bar, um, back to the G chord underneath. So we've got there, third fret on the E, um, fifth fret on the B, bent up half step. Then we're going to get that little run we had earlier with the double stop. So I'm playing third fret on the E, fifth on the B, then third on the B, fourth on the G, fifth on the D string. So you get like that. Okay, uh, second bar of G. So another little double stop, we're going to slide into this one, um, we're going to play the 3rd fret on the B, 4th fret on the G, and we're going to just slide that shape in, like that. Then 5th fret on the G, and then we're going to do that little slide in double stop again, then 5th fret on the D, 5th fret on the G, that bar. Okay, then we're into uh, a bar of C. So that phrase is um, fifth fret on the G, sliding to the fifth fret of the B, third fret on the E string. Then we've got um, fifth fret on the E. Then we slide into fifth fret on the B, back to the third fret on the B. So you get nice and slowly. Like that. Okay, uh, the second bar with the C chord. So we've got fifth fret on the E, fifth on the B, third on the E, fifth on the E, bent up a half step. Then we play 5th fret normally on the E, 3rd fret, and then 5th fret on the B. So you get this. Like that. Okay? Right, back to a G chord. Okay, so what we've got there is a um, 3rd fret on the E. Then we're going to do a little rake. And it's basically a, a little G chord, so you're playing a third fret on the E and B strings and full fret on the G. And you're starting from the third string and just raking the pick across. Um, I suppose you'd call it sweet picking these days, but I think the way it was probably handled was you just held the chord and, and did it that, that way. Or you might have even palm muted it. Uh, your call on how you want to play that. So it's a very quick kind of um, triplet kind of feel, ending on the seventh fret on the E string. So you get. So that might be something you want to practice a few times. So yeah, seventh fret on the E, third fret, and then the third fret on the B, and then fourth fret on the G string. And all of those notes are basically a G major arpeggio. Just the notes of a G major chord, just played one at a time. Like that. So you can see how this um, whole solo very closely relates to the uh, the notes within the chords underneath. Really nice solo, this. Okay, now it gets interesting. It's going to go to a B chord next. And again, the outlines are a B7 chord, basically. Um, starting with 4th fret on the B, 4th fret on the G, and then 5th fret on the E, and then he comes down, 2nd fret, then 4th fret on the B, 
full fret on the G. That little phrase sounds like this. Okay, basically spelling out a B7 arpeggio, or chord, when you want to look at it. Okay. Alright, the next bar is going to be over E minor. And I suppose you'd call this like a, a part of an E blues scale, or yeah, yeah E blues really. Right, to play that, you're playing 5th fret on the B, and you play it again. Then you are 3rd fret on the on the E. Then you're going to do, um, on the 5th fret, a uh, half step bend. But the 5th fret, and then play 5th fret normally. 3rd fret, and then 5th fret on the B. So you get that sort of phrase. Okay, then it goes back to a B chord. Nice little run that works very nicely over the B chord. So we get a little hammer pull off from the second to the third, back to the second on the E string. Fifth fret on the B, second fret on the on the E. Like it's a, the first bit's like a little triplet. Then it's going to be full fret on the B, back up to the second fret on the E. Then I play this with an open B string and then first fret. Like that. And it's kind of an, that last note, the C note, is kind of anticipating the next chord, which is going into C. So the next phrase, this is over a C chord. Uh, first fret on the B, then we're sliding into the, the fifth fret, then over to the E string, we're going to play third fret, fifth fret with a half step bend, then third fret, back to the fifth fret on, on the B string. So you get this phrase. Like that. Looks nicely over the C chord. Okay, the next thing um, is going to be over a G chord. This is a little bit more rock and roll. And what's happening there is that you're holding down the fifth fret on both the E and the B strings, and you're bending up. Could be a quarter tone bend, it's just pushing it slightly out, or maybe even up to half step. And you do that twice. And then uh, you just play it on the uh, B string, 5th fret, and then followed by 3rd fret on the E, then 3rd fret on the B. So you get this phrase. Like that. Okay, and that's over the G. Next bar is going to be over a D chord. And again, very closely follows the notes that are in like a D7 chord really um, starts off with so you're playing um, fifth fret on the B, then a very quick hammer pull off on the third and fifth frets on the B, finishing off with um, third fret on the G, like that, and then this is a D7 arpeggio basically, so we're playing 5th fret on the G, 2nd fret and then 4th fret on the D, open D. That phrase. And then for the final bar we're back to a G chord. Um, so this is 5th fret on the D string and I'm going to do a down, down, up picking like that. Then uh, we've so yeah, fifth fret like that. Then we've got three, two, open on the D over to the fifth string, third fret, and then we're going to slide into second and then back to an open D. That phrase. And 
that is the entire solo broken down. Like I say, very good solo. This I've had to learn it recently for a, for a gig that I, I started doing. And uh, yeah, very impressed with this. Uh, nice solo. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs>